Welcome back to KMOT First News at 6. I'm John Jacklin. Minot State men's and women's golf just completed a successful two-day tournament in Sioux Falls where both teams placed in the top half of teams and had top 10 individual finishers. Starting with the men at the Augustana Spring Invitational, they finished fourth and, play, and played consistent across both days, shooting 27 over par yesterday and 26 over par today. Chase Gadak was the top beaver and tied for fifth place in the tournament. Gadak stormed near the top of the leaderboard today with a round of 73, enough to move up seven spots. The women just missed out on a second place finish coming in one stroke over Concordia St. Paul. JC Jones entered the clubhouse as the top beaver for the tournament, tying for sixth place overall and followed by Holly Knutson tied for 10th. MSU men's and women's golf has this weekend off before the NSIC tournament has the NSIC tournament on tap uh, two weeks from now beginning on April 26th. Minot State Baseball finally plays its first real home game this season tomorrow after 29 games on the road outside of the Magic City. The Beavers host Minnesota Crookston in a doubleheader. MSU is 9-20 overall and 6-13 and in NSIC play. Meanwhile, Crookston is 17-11 and 11-7 and 11 and in conference. First pitch is 1.30 p.m. tomorrow at Corbett Field and the second game will start following the first game. MSU softball is also in action tomorrow, but they are on the road in Aberdeen, South Dakota as the Beavers take on Northern State. Minot State enters the week fifth in the NSIC standings with an 8-4 conference record. These are the only meetings between the Wolves and Beavers this season. First pitch from Aberdeen is at noon with the second game to follow the completion of the first. That's all we have in sports, but at 10 we'll have, a highlight from, we'll have highlights from Minot High softball, baseball, and soccer. We'll be right back.